Guess what we got going on today, Pete? Okay, so it's a bad storm that's what? coming down from. What? Not coming up from the, what? 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 Bad storm coming from south, coming up from Florida. What are you talking coming about? Coming up this way. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, man. So, so what happens? It was a pretty bad day today. Um, took a day from work. Wasn't sure how this thing was going to be. So. With that is happening and the dude didn't have school, so what did Super Paw Paw go do? Okay, no, no, Paw Paw went and got him, so we hanging out with him. And so we got him from daycare. So my job is to fix breakfast. I'm good with this, people, so I'm trying to figure hey, out. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Hello, everybody! Watch this! And why is your job to fix breakfast? Okay, so here's my question. We have already started out with some kind of debate here with breakfast. I just want to know what your take is, so. I'm gonna fix some, you know, Wait, bacon. Why are you fixing breakfast? Well, I'm fixing breakfast because. Because oh, I'm hungry. Oh. Why am I not fixing breakfast? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what you're asking why you ain't fixing breakfast. Yeah. Well. Oh, wait well, a minute, baby. Let me, let me oh, turn it around so you can see yourself. You might need to see you. So you can see if you're cutting your head off. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. I want chicken. That's that dude down there. You can't see him, but you know, that's what he's doing. But see, so she Dama is she's about business. She handling everything. She got a lot of stuff going on. I am working. She has a lot of stuff going on. And so I'm not off. We're off. I'm acting like you now. She's not off. Where, where's the food? I'm acting like you now. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Stop. Jackson, be careful, baby. Don't, don't, listen. Go this way, baby. Don't, don't play around that light. Okay, and the cords. Don't do that, baby. Jackson. So here's... So here's our situation. This is what we're doing, what we're going with. So... I'm fixing breakfast, so I'm trying to figure out a thing, and I need you guys' take on it. So, I made some bacon. I was going for the natural thing, the bacon, Whoa. some eggs. And by the way, um, I don't know if you guys um, pay attention to when, when Miss Dama is doing her eggs, but you notice she'll put milk in the eggs. Now, I'm not sure what that is for. You can ask her at another time what it's for. But me, the reason why I put milk in the eggs, it makes the eggs fluffier. So, instead of having these little eggs, you ever seen that? The scrambled eggs that people look like they just chopped up everything like it went almost to a blender. Little choppy small eggs and they're dark. Well, if you add a little milk to your eggs and don't um, scramble as much, they'll fluff. You have them a little more um, fluffier and... Yeah, you have them fluffier. Yeah, come in. I figured you needed some. I thought I'd help you out. Let me go back and do my work. Yeah, spray it from the freezer. Spray it. That's what we have there. So here's a question I want to ask. So I got my eggs, I got my bacon. We have, um, you know, I'm gonna toast some bread. But the curiosity is, I said, okay, what am I gonna eat with that? Usually, Donna will fix grits. Well, I'm not like that with the grits. And so I said, okay, I'll eat some cereal. And here's where our debate come in because I want to know from you guys. So um, when I was sitting in the cereal, dude number two don't came by here, and y'all know when he come by. So he ate all of the designer cereal. Why you act like he ate a whole bag of cereal? I'm going to need you to stop. Don't be telling stories on my child. You act like he ate a whole bag of cereal and didn't. I'm saying over time he kept coming over. And, and even when we're not here, he come home and, and eat the cereal. So the thing is, I didn't get none of them. So all of the designer cereal gone. Now, when you hear that quote, when you hear that word designer cereal, what do you think about? Donna talking about, it's plenty of cereal up there. I was like, all of the designer cereal gone. She talked like that was foreign. What's designer cereal? What is designer cereal? So I asked her the question, what's a designer handbag? So my thing is, if you know what a designer handbag is, you know what designer cereal is. So my thing is, that's what, gonna, what do you think designer cereal is? I'll tell you what my, you know what I believe it to be. But I want to know what you think. What do you think it is? Designer cereal. So, going about the business that we have, um, three of us in, so she says, make a sandwich. Who eats a sandwich without cereal? So nevertheless, this is what we're going to do. Let's 
Is that the store? No, that's a trash truck. Oh, I'm finna say, man, look. I'm, I'm finna quit the cereal and everything and head to them. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a trash truck. So it's, um, what we're looking at is, it's two and a half of us. The half being Jackson. And they probably here, because y'all, I have the windows open, too. It's so humid, though. Yeah, this one it is. But it was a good time to open the windows because the wind is blowing. But it's really humid. Right. She's off the camera talking to you guys. Baby. But <laughs> that's what it is, guys. It's not, I'm telling you, it's almost like a, um, not quite like a Saturday. Go over there to the other one in the dining room and look at the trash truck. Baby, be careful. It's almost like a, um, not a Saturday. You see him? But like a morning? snow day almost when you don't play hooky from work. Papa don't want to see the trash truck, man. Papa don't want to care nothing about the trash truck. Papa trying to fix you some breakfast. Okay, we're going to go. Okay, that's where we at. Now, unlike Donna, here's where we differ. I stay focused on what I'm doing. She got a timer for everything because she'll burn the toast. And that's just a running joke we have. She's going to burn the toast. But my thing is... So what I'm gonna do, guys? You better not burn it. How about that? You better not burn it today. Let me tell you something. Yes. Uh, don't go over there. There it is. Man, his es excavator was back here in the window sill, back in the corner. <laughs> don't show the papa. Don't really? so show papa you found it. <laughs> you found your excavator. Look at that trash truck. Man, that big garbage truck. He turned the corner of my truck right there. I'm like, what if he just accidentally hit my truck? Let me see it. So he, you yeah. Thank you, man. You take, why you take your uh, magnets off? Oh, he's going back to the other one to the city truck. City truck. Why you take your magnets off the refrigerator and put them right here on the floor, Jackson? Magnets where? The ones off the refrigerator. Oh. Hey, you see his magnets here. He has taken them off the refrigerator and they lined up on the floor. That's a little He's going to keep emptying trash back. He's going to get everybody else's trash. You don't just get. Oh, my toast. Oh, that was close. That's a trash truck. You going to put your um, magnets back on the refrigerator? Oh, for real, real. That was close. Right there. You want to leave them right there? Pull them up. Pull them up. Uh-huh. Do y'all understand what I would uh -huh. have to put up with? If. If you had to burn that toast. That toast would have been burned. Do y'all understand no, what I would have had to do? They'll hit? stick on the refrigerator, not on the wall. Where's that, um, that spray hey, Let me put it on the refrigerator. Pop up, close it. No, I, but don't nobody want a spray bottle, honey. We want real butter. Is that toast black? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> I mean, you make me nervous. Is that toast black? Oh my I goodness. wish you would. Oh, oh, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. You're right, man. You turn for you, one second. I know, that brother don't play. You turn honey. one second and it's there. Yeah, just take it and rub it on the top of the bed. That rubbly, man. That rubbly. That what? So that. you can see, I laid all my bacon out like it's on the beach. That. Rubble Everybody got a bed to lay in. That's the big old rubbly. Not like it's on the beach. That's pretty. Watch this red. Rubbly. It's red like it held yeah. up and brown like it's rubbly. trying to burn. Uh -huh. If you had a if you had to look bad, it sure would have burned. No. It would have burned. Like the bread wanna burn so it can say the wrong one. Yeah, just like those. Huh? Okay, so give me I'm going through a lot of Babe, why would you be in the kitchen? You be looking and acting like you stressed. You be just. I, I sound like the trash truck. See, that's what oh, I mean. Why you looking like you stressed? Jackson, be careful, baby. There's a lot of stuff on. Door's open. I'm doing a lot of things at one time. See, that's why I have to set the timer so it'll remind me. I don't have to jump like, oh my goodness. Man, you see me just put this oh. in here. I mean, really. It does look like that. Oh, just throw the thing off. You know what? I'm not going to have some light on the I'll keep 
finishing up the toast. So we have gotten the bacon done, we have gotten the toast done, and this is what I do guys with my toast. I spread my butter over it. You remember those days, I don't know if you guys were back in those days when you used to have a, like five pieces of butter, one, two at the top, two at the bottom, and one in the middle? Like I do it. Like Donna do it, okay. Because like, my, my mama did it that way. Because mama did it that way, right. Well, we didn't have toast, Donna, because we didn't have much bread. But what we did is when we had it, we... I'm going to spread it all over so you make sure you're going to get the right amount of butter. Let me say this, guys, and, and going forward here. In all seriousness, all seriousness, speaking of the storm, um, I don't know how much of the family um, is down South Florida, Georgia, coming up through that way, guys. I'm praying that everybody is okay and that you had a, um, the experience was not that unpleasant. Um, you know you're going to go through some things, deal with some things, but just praying everybody is okay. Um, getting through this thing pretty solid. And you had a storm. Just dealing with the storm. And, um, um, first and foremost, priority, take care of the fam. And then you um, rest up the house, all those type of things, vehicles. That type of stuff can be replaced. You're the one. You're the prize. You're the valuable thing because I can promise you. Comes to a house, you have insurance for that. If not, you can always get another one. Same thing with a vehicle, but um, you want to make sure that as far as your, um, your family, you guys okay. So prayerfully, everybody is okay. As this, um, we're up here where we're at, we're just catching the back end of it, which is a bunch of, a bunch of rain, things like that. So, and wind. Yeah, some wind, yeah, some wind in some areas. So, trees have fallen too, babe. Has it? Yeah. Or, I showed you that picture about my cousin with the tree that fell. Oh, sure did. Yeah. Sure did. So, preferably, you know, everybody is okay. We're getting through this. This too will pass. We'll make it through this. Now, back to what we said. So, I've, I've gotten this thing pretty much. We have the bacon. We have um, toast. And so, the next thing I'm going after, and here's what makes me nervous. Let me see if I have an option. Here's where I get nervous at, guys. I know what to do. But I still don't want to take a chance. Um, that's just me. Knowing what to do, I still don't want to play with fire. So this is... This is Miss Donna's... This is her... You know, her cookware, her Causeway cookware, guys. Y'all know about this. My what? Your cookware. What'd you call it? Your Causeway. No, my Caraway. Caraway? You thinking about the patio furniture talking about Causeway. Oh. That's a caraway. Okay, caraway. This all is a caraway. All these C's. Yeah, caraway calls caraway. Please forgive me, caraway. Caraway. There it is. So caraway, um, this is a caraway thing. Some people, when you're cooking, you're cooking with um, with a fork or where, you, where the frying pan is scrambling eggs. Some may be scrambling with a fork, with a spoon. Well, you're going to scratch up the surface of the thing. I'm not going to, um... Maybe just get the silicone. Well, I know. That, that's what I'm saying. But for me, what I'm going to go with is... Okay. I'm going to just stay with this. This is the way I'm going with my eggs. Oh, I was going to say, just get your silicone thing there. So this is the way I'm going to go with my eggs, guys. And don't turn the temp. You don't have any temperature. You have that on. I, I got this. I just want to no, make no. sure what stove was on. No. You can't cook in that very high temperature because you'll mess it up. Cooking too high. What is the old frying pan? In? You can you can do it in a cast iron if you want. You can you can use that, but you just you. it's just certain things you have to do to and take care. Y'all know how we ladies are about our our uh, cookware. Now so, you gonna cook any right uh, or you can't cook any? Can I have a caveman cook the pan? Just the, the pan. Skit, you, but baby, you can cook in it. I know, I know, I know. But baby, use a skillet. Yeah, you take yours. I mean, no. Use a skillet. No. Don't it's like old school. It's like when your kids first start driving. When they first start driving, you're going to get, what car you going to give them? Um, take that to work truck. But I don't mind you cooking it. I know, baby. I know you don't mind. The thing is, you don't mind. I mind. So that's why I'm saying I don't want no part of it. I don't mind. So I don't mind. This right here was a peacemaker in the house. A wife kept a lot of husbands in line with this. <laughs> <laughs> so what we going to do, you, uh, what we going to do, we going to get, okay, so there.
these little candles from um Aldi. Y'all been getting these little candles from Aldi. Aldi. I don't know that they smell a whole lot, but it's just the fact that I have something burning. Something burning. I like a candle that I can like really, really smell. It's just something burning. See, with her, her, um, caraway? Yeah, yeah with her caraway cards, well, you know, stuff. with her caraway pans, you can't have the stove up too high. That's going to bother you. With the peacemaker, <laughs> turn the oven on 635, it's going to warm up in about 10 minutes. So, the only thing I'm saying is this. We're going to get this thing together. I'm going to y'all guys to see this. Yeah, it's a difference. Yeah, it's a difference. not like me. Let me yeah. tell you guys the skill set here. Because believe it or not, truthfully, truthfully, um, guys, Miss Donna could cook, but I can't. I really can't get it in. Now, what would the kids tell you you can cook? Oh, man, but you know what? They lip say wrapped around it. See, but I can cook because y'all don't know. When I first met, met me and Miss Donna started dating, I brought her over to my house and I cooked her breakfast. Did I not? Miss Donna. Okay, you did. I just burnt my thing on that lighter trying to light my candle. My thing won't light. You did. You cooked me. You did grits that day, babe. Yeah, I had time. You must. You yeah. had time today. You just don't feel like no, I, you are spoiled. Yeah, that's true. You are spoiled. That's true. And you are just used to me cooking breakfast all that is, the time. That is, that is a truth. But this is what we have, guys. So what did I do? So I did cook her breakfast. And from that point on, she knew this is it. Lottery. I got this yeah. one. And next thing I know, bake. next thing I know, I had woke up, woke up and what did she have me? She had me, that took my name and everything. I'm like, man, look. But took was, your name. Yeah, she took my name and everything. This is what we got, guys, and this is what I was telling you. So, again, now, I, hey, she goes, matter of fact, here comes Miss Donna, ask her, why do you put milk in your egg, in your egg? Put milk or heavy cream because it helps make them fluffy. Okay, well, there she go. I was right. Help make them fluffy. So if you notice, you guys, know what? I showed them a couple of Saturday videos ago, me making my eggs. Okay. So they've seen me make Okay, so you know, so I didn't You know make good eggs, too. I don't like eggs when people take them. Choppy. And, yeah, and they take the, the spatula and they be, don't chop, I know, they be doing like this and the eggs be all in, chopped up in little bitty pieces. I don't like, me can't like it. I like my eggs. Fluffy. I like like the big pieces of eggs, so that's why we just kind of slide it around in the um, skillet. But yeah, and then my husband, my dude number one. I think the first time you cooked my eggs, you did them choppy. I did like them choppy. He, he used to do his eggs choppy like that, but now you know he doesn't do them like that. Do you like it? It doesn't matter to you either way, right? Well, no, I don't. I don't like the choppy. Oh, you don't like chocolate? I don't really like it. Oh, okay. It's like you, you learn new, you do new. My thing is, did I put enough? I like my candle. Did I put enough? Mm -hmm. What you call them in here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, the cast iron is different. You got to put enough oil. In. Did you put, what you put in it, baby? This? Some, how much did you put? About a tablespoon or more? Or? A little less? You probably, you'll be okay. You just have to make sure you keep it moving because it's going to stick. But if you put some, put some, uh, Wait behind it, it'll get it up. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Put some pressure behind it. And truth be told, you can go on and turn that burner down too, but you know, I'm not trying to help you. Well, you ain't got to help me, don't I was going ahead that way okay. anyway. My thing was. Okay, so you're going to scorch them. I ain't, yeah, I ain't yeah. got a bunch of oily grease. Because you're going to scorch them. You know, I don't like scorched it. When I go out you know to what? a restaurant and I order my breakfast, because I like my eggs well done, some people just seem to think that well done means scorched. When I say well done, I don't want any runniness to my egg, so I'll, I'll say well done, but not scorched. Oftentimes, they be a little brownerish, but it's like, okay, I, I'd rather have that than them runny. Gotcha. Turn that burner totally I off gotcha. now, babe. I'm now, if you want to get that up, 
So if you want to get that up, use the um, get that out the bottom of the pan. Give me, I'm gonna put my eggs in. Give me something to put my eggs on, please. Baby, what do you mean? Give you something? You right here in the kitchen? Just like this. I'm not even supposed to be in here. You're not supposed um, to be here, though. But I, have, I find many times when I'm not supposed to be in the kitchen. You don't Somehow be in when here. I come by you, I, it's you something don't, I got to get. You don't be in here. Something you want me to get, something you want me to... Guys, look at this. See, if you notice, look at the eggs. Here are the eggs. See if you can scratch that a little more. Scratch what? Oh, I guess you're going to cook it. So I'm going to get that out the bottom. Okay. So the thing is, they're a little choppy, little small pieces. Yeah, I'm so glad that he knows how to cook my eggs, too. They be so good. So good. Okay, let me get back in here and get to work. Yeah, Mr. Robert's video probably to do no more. His video probably gonna be longer than mine. Cause he likes to talk to y'all. I like to tell y'all what's going on so y'all people are well aware. You're hey, well aware. Baby, what, see, you, cook, baby, you didn't put your apron on today. Oh, you know what? You Just work with me, people. Work with me. Here to do work, here to do work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, things here. Yes, you all right? Miss Donna. Yeah. Miss Donna all will right. use yes, shredded cheese. Me? And give me a block of cheese. Because it's like a sandwich to me, because that's what it's gonna be, a sandwich. So, I'm gonna put this in my sandwich. Now, this, Miss Donna like a lot of eggs. Well, she like eggs. I love eggs. And so what I do is with her, I give her more eggs than me. I just need enough to make a sandwich, which. Okay, so now that's done, guys. We got the. Maybe you didn't put cheese on mine, did you? I did not. I know you do not like cheese. Yeah, I'll like, eat it. You act it's like not this not is my first rodeo. It's not my preference. Yeah, like this. Now, here's the thing with me. Okay, now that y'all see. I'm cleaning as I go along. It's not. When I had this side of the stove on. What's wrong, baby? Yeah. What's wrong? Showing this, it seems like this will be warming, well, nevertheless. What was I saying, man? Look, fire you make you change your mind with a conversation. I, I can't wait to see your expression on that camera when, um, I told Mike. Remember, you were talking about how I like eggs and you were gonna give me more eggs. I don't know what I was talking about right now. I'm talking about my hand burning. That's what I'm talking I mean, about. You right. said, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, yeah, so. Her, her eggs, she like her eggs. Yeah, she like she, she don't like cheese on her eggs. I mean, no, I'll eat it, okay. but it's just not a preference. Yeah, that's not a preference of hers. For me, it's a whole different thing. Now, when you are going along, guys, and you're cleaning up, I'm going to say you're um, cooking. You know Miss Donna's motto, guys. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, but she also like a clean kitchen as we're going along. So, I clean up as I go along. Now, how did I learn that? Miss Donna. Because there was a time when I would just leave all the dishes, let them pile up, and then I'd get them all. Yeah, I'd get them all after we eat, because I'm going to do that. But now, I change my ways. I think a little different now. So now I'm able to take everything and... Right here. Give me all my stuff, as a matter of fact. Part of... And to a lot of the... Oh, I'm off the camera. Let's go along this way with me. Cleaning as I go. Cleaning as I go. And the part of cleaning, let me give the guys a tip. I'm just saying for me, I'm, I'll take some of the brutal battle scars I don't learn, and I will tell you guys, so y'all guys will be, you know, it'd be one less thing you gotta battle with. When you're cleaning up, part of cleaning up is also 
also putting on. So I'm one, once I'm washing dishes, I'm going about my business, I'm putting the dishes down in the dishwasher. Okay, I don't wash the dishes, then I put them in the dishwasher. Well, that's to let them drain or what have you. But every now and then, you gotta clean the dishwasher out of all of the clean dishes. So they have to go up to the cabinet. So what I do is then start attacking, putting all my stuff where it properly belongs, and go from there. So that's the part of my cleaning up is putting up. So. And again, guys, remember always, there is a difference between Miss Donna and me. I'm not going to do it her way. But that doesn't make my way wrong because I do it different. You women, y'all had this thing all lined out together, every pot be perfect, you know. Men, we flow just a little different. You may look up in the cabinet and see um, some nice glasses. Um, you may see a few plates. That fork we couldn't find, you may find a fork up in the cabinet and um, you may find a screwdriver. I don't know. A couple of things you find up in the cabinet. The guy's thinking about a lot of things while they're doing this. But nevertheless, what we're going to try to do is make this thing right. And my thing is with this, getting the breakfast done in a timely manner. I'm going to get about the business. Let's go ahead and get breakfast made and eat, and then you can come back and clean up. But when you're cleaning up as you go, you know, you can start off. It's starting off eating breakfast, and you find out it's 5.30 p.m. Because I'm trying to clean up while I'm making breakfast at the same time. Look at that. So my thing is, let's work together. Make sure we get this thing done together and go from there. Everything has its place. Everything has its place. If you put it where it's supposed to be, it'll be where it's supposed to be. Sometimes they don't want to be bothered with me, but they need to understand it ain't just y'all. Sometimes, you know, well, you ready to let the family go? Yeah, I appreciate y'all guys, and I'll let y'all see um, the finished product. You gonna fix my sandwich? Yeah, I'm gonna fix everything. You gonna fix everything? Appreciate y'all. Now I'll let y'all see the finished product. Um, thank you for spending time with me in the kitchen right now. I'm cleaning because you don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, and you don't be in a nasty kitchen. Now y'all, he normally cleans out the dishwasher very seldom. I guess because I wash dishes. I wash dishes and I put them away. I don't I don't really use the dishwasher. So when the dishwasher gets unloaded, y'all, he does it nine times out of ten. And I'm so glad. I really appreciate that, babe. You're more than welcome. I'm render, I'm rendering my video now, so it's um it's almost uploaded. It's almost uploaded. I have to remind him when he's off. He kind of throws me out. Is that the sun coming out? He kind of throws me I'm off. In a few I know, right? Because I said, babe, you're off. I'm not off. So I have to, it's hard for me to stay on task. When, um, 
So I think I was saying before my little jumping bean over there distracted me. I appreciate my husband unloading the dishwasher. Jackson, did you want to come sing your name song? Come on, come sing your name song. Be careful. Be cute. Huh? That'll be what? Cute. That'll be cute. Oh, you know me? They can't see. I guess I'm going to have to hold you up so you can see me. Okay, you have to sing it loud, okay? So they can hear your song. Who taught you the song? My name is Jetsy. Jetsy. Jetsy is my name. Hi, Spelling. Tell you one thing, if you were loud enough, if some of y'all are blind, you sure ain't deaf. Good job. Look, and coming from his loud papa, Almighty. good job. I was saying, who taught you that song? My mom. Mom. His mom taught him that song because she was trying to teach him how to spell his name. Good job. I'm sure the family enjoyed it. He said, my name is Jack. I know. So and then you're going to be out loud. You're like, leave him alone. Let him sing his song. You be loud. Don't look that down. I mean, good Lord. You got a dose of your own medicine. They heard him in Chicago. They, <laughs> good job. I'm not so proud of you. That's my dude. I'm with Papa you, Papa interrupted his song. Boy, it's on you going to fix my sandwich? I am. I'm, I'm listening. That's the rookie part. I got you. That's no, that's what, Jackson? That's the good part? That's, that's not a good part. That's, that's a bad part. Okay. That's an awesome part, man. That's too loud, I guess. No, that wasn't too loud. Thank you, man. That's Papa's. Thank you. Grandbaby. That was so awesome. You did a good job. Really, really yeah. loud. Really, <laughs> really loud. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I found Jackson already. Yes. Pizza toast. Yes. Thank you. I just want to show them your sick. Oh, please don't drop my sandwich. I would hit the floor. Why are you? Let me tell you something. I would hit the floor like a black, like, like the, like, look. You going to put the top on it? Is that what you put jelly on? Yeah, I'm putting the jelly on. Are you gonna show them your sandwich? Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my sandwich. You so, what do you do? You get, you get a little extra when it comes to food. I'm just saying, man. I'm just, just saying the thought. Oh, uh, you know that thing, that worst nightmare. Yeah. You, that, yeah. Got my fair life, y'all. See this? And there's bacon at the bottom, and there's really nothing but three strips of bacon. I just cut them in half. Well, not in half, but in thirds. So three, um, three, one and a half on the bottom, one and a half on the top. You know Jackson can go do some bacon. Yeah, that's why I got mine. <laughs> Listen, yeah. That's why I got mine. Let's see. And there we go. I'm good. So the rest of the way. Oh, and I decided my cereal. What did I decide to get me? I got some, some cinnamon. Cinnamon Rice Crispy. It'll do. It's not the design of cereal that I wanted. Now, guys, when I'm saying design of cereal. What's a design of cereal? Please explain. A design of cereal would be like, we have cereal like cornflakes. Cornflakes. Um, Cheerios. Cheerios. That's just regular cereal. But when you have something like, um, from cornflakes to frosted flakes, um, sugar, what is it, sugar pops, sugar smacks. Um, fruity Pebbles, these things they have um, color to them and also, you know, a little sugary to them. That's a designer cereal. That's that right there. The kids gonna put cornflakes up there and put some sugar smacks to see which one the kids go out. What a bread soft. Mr. Light Toasted Bread. Well, it's soft because I put butter on it. Mine don't be soft when oh, I put butter on it. Yeah, because you just put butter on the spray butter Why on the spray. Why ain't spraying the bag. Oh my god. Don't say oh my god. What are you supposed to say? My gosh. Say oh my goodness. Say oh my goodness. Oh. Don't get sad because now I'm not getting on you. 
So that's what I'm saying, guys. When you have to design the cereal ones, when you know it, you have a lot of cereal in your closet. If you have a lot of cereal in your, your cabinet, cupboard, closet, whatever, pantry, when you go in there, well, well if the kids go in there, the kids or the grandkids, because the rain right around. Okay, so what is it that they go for? That's the design of cereal, guys. That is something that's just not plain. Something that stands out a little. And then it stopped, listen. Yeah, it's just all of a sudden just... Whew. Have I ever drunk any of this milk? Yeah, the fair life is good. That's nice. One of our YouTube family members, when Stephen was talking about is our, um, if we had cereal, and the thing was, is the milk any good? One of you suggested we get the fair life at 2% reduced fat. It's good. I mean, it tastes like regular milk. But see, this one is good into, until this says, what? This says December the 8th. Is that? I wonder how that's going to taste. This says it's good to December the 8th. It's lactose free. Yes, baby. Oh, that belongs to my mom's house. No, mommy drinks that kind too. He saw that milk tell me that belongs to my mom's house. No, you, the same you, and, make you the, and mommy drink that kind too. Is this the same people that make the milk to make the hamburger patties for McDonald's that can last for December 8th, 29, 30? Babe. Thank you, babe. That's a waffle. <laughs> that's a waffle. But I appreciate my sandwich. That is a waffle. What's that? No sandwich in here. here. A waffle sandwich. <laughs> right, get your bread you're trying to make hard now. I don't know, right? To make it toasty again. I don't like soggy bread. That's good. It tastes like regular um, milk. What do they do to make it? Wait a minute, baby. I'm not opening up this oven. What do they do to make it last so long? No, no. Yes, baby. That's a waffle sandwich. That's a waffle sandwich. Uh, Papa so has a waffle? A waffle sandwich. Excuse me, sorry. Please give yeah, me. Yeah, and it's sandwich. And the rain is back. Woo! That's a good one. Now, you have to come end your video. You better end that video. It's so muggy and humid, too. It's so muggy in there. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, Remember, if you haven't um, was, um, hit the nosy. <laughs> Why are you grabbing me like that? <laughs> you are funny. Like my expert went you, to your head. I know, right? <laughs> See, I wouldn't have even noticed that. So funny acting with your little fool. So if you haven't joined us, how you doing? No, you ought to know. You need to pay attention. If you haven't close, close the video like I do. You need if to pay you have, attention. If this is your first time joining us, please hit the um and subscribe. Hit the nosy and that's that notification bell so you know everything that's going on. Baby, you didn't finish? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. You didn't know I finished because you weren't paying attention to me. No, I heard you. I was trying. I think I was waiting for you to say it right. Okay. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're over here doing all the things that he being stingy with his breakfast sandwich because he said I had one. Oh, you said that breakfast. You gonna tell everybody about it? Thank you all so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Bye, waffle sandwich. Waffle sandwich. Tell, tell, tell everybody say be safe. Be safe, waffle. You look silly, <laughs> Bye. Ooh. Then you go. Don't walk off again because you got your little food.